Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm an archaeologist and I'm on the site of Chester Northgate. Um, so as you can see in front of me, there's this big sandstone structure. Um, it's likely two walls, so one running this way and one running that way. Um, these are Roman walls, so they'll have built them, cut them by hand and then built them all next to each other. So we've got two sets. Um, there is some wall tumble. Um, so that will have been from when the wall had been built up and then at some point it's either been knocked over or fallen into disrepair and kind of fallen itself. Um, so the Romans will have probably, this will have probably been their barracks. So uh, where they'll have slept, where they'll have eaten. And um, there's different areas of barracks. We think there might have been three. So this one will have been the most southern of the three. Um, so we've got some of the finds that we found here. Most of the finds were found in this area. So we've got some um, pottery. This is Roman pottery and we can tell from in the sides it's really, really fine. And this was known as greyware. Um, it will have been produced in England and this is most likely to have been a bowl. So you can kind of see the rim and then the shape of the sides going out. This piece of pottery was also found in that area. And as you can see, there's open stone. So we think this possibly could have been a pester and mortal. Um, and it's got a really nice kind of lipped rim again. And this would have been really big. They'd have probably ground a lot of spices in this. Um, and things like their fish oil as well. They might have mixed that in with the spices. Um, so they're definitely Roman. And then we have some animal bones. So this one is a um, cow ankle. So their hoof would have gone onto this. Um, they will have, this will have just been probably from um, when they were eating animals. Um, they just kind of chucked the, the leftovers into the, the um, rubbish pits that they had. And then finally we've got some oyster shells. So the Romans were a big fan of their fish, they loved their fish. Um, and these oysters were probably quite local from um, the river or possibly the sea and uh, they'll have had these brought over on boats as well. So uh, these are also Roman finds that we had.